if you're doing jumping jacks to lose weight, please stop. What's up, y'all? This is your personal trainer, Brandon Palmer. If you've been doing jumping jacks to get rid of that fupa, belly fat, arm fat, back fat, thigh fat, whatever. If you've been trying to tone up and you've been doing jumping jacks to do it, look, I want you to stop doing those. I'm gonna take y'all through a quick and easy, beginner friendly, full body dumbbell workout that'll hit your entire body. But we'll be primarily focusing on your core, getting that core engaged so you can build that muscle. Also, I need you to follow my free meal plan. It will be in the description box, so please check the description. And if you're a beginner here, please hit that subscription, please hit that subscriber button so you won't miss a video. And also give the video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, comment future videos you'd like to see. But right this video, all you need is some light dumbbells. I'm using some 10 pound dumbbells. I bought these from Target, 10 pound dumbbells. Light may be different for you, so grab anything that you can lift easily 10 to 15 times. And we'll be doing a lot of reps. We focus on the repetitions, not so much the resistance and the weight. We're gonna be doing quite a few workouts. 30 seconds each workout with a 10 second rest in between. Just follow the video. You can repeat this workout at least three times a week on top of walking one to two to three miles Monday through Friday, rest on the weekend, and also hitting this workout at least three times a week. Wait, that's enough talking about the workout. Let's go and get to it. All right, before we get started, we're gonna go through three warm-up exercises just to get that blood flowing, just to get in the right energy and the, the right mood so we can complete exercise. Real smooth, 30 seconds each warm-up exercise for a 10 second rest. Let's get to it. Right. Starting off with some squats, real easy. Feet shoulder width apart. Just take your time, up and down. Keep that core tight. All that means is just squeezing your stomach. Don't squeeze it too tight. Make sure you focus on your breathing. Keep it smooth. doing is just some basic high knees. I want you to stack your arms on top of each other and we're just bringing in your knees up just like this. Try to get the knees above your waistline. Same thing, keep that stomach tight. Focus on your breathing. go backwards and I want you to go forward. Backwards and forward. And no matter how many you do, make sure you keep working the motion. Yep. Get your mind ready to put this work in. Real smooth, real easy workout. All right, before we get started, we will be using both dumbbells for some exercises. And some of the exercises, we'll be just using one dumbbell. Just make sure you follow along. Make sure you got a nice open space like this. You better see your screen. Just get this work in. Remember, keep it easy, keep it smooth. Try to stay out your head and just work the motion. If you can't do certain exercises, just repeat the previous exercise that you did if you can't do the exercise I will be currently doing. All right, let's get to the workout. Starting off first with suitcase carry, dumbbell, dumbbell, high knees. Real easy, same thing. Make sure you're getting your knees above your waistline. Grip the weight tight. Keep it smooth. All right, now, put 
put down one dumbbell, we using only one. We just gonna rotate. Rotate, get them knees up. Ready? Go. Rotate, get the knees up. Should be feeling that burn right about now. Now we got regular squats. We're gonna hold the weight on top of our shoulders and we just squat real smooth. Don't overthink it. Try not to bend over. Just bend at the waist. But bend at the knees. We're not bending at the waist. Focus on your breathing. RDLs. Put a slight bend in your knee and we bending at the waist. Keep that back straight. We're locking out at the top. Keep those arms extended as you go down and come up. The only thing you're moving is your waist. The only thing you're moving is your waist. to a row plus the RDL. So same motion, we just add a row into it. So we're gonna row it, then we're gonna come up to get to it. Row, RDL. Row, RDL. Just like that. Remember, keep that back straight. You still just bending at the waist. You just adding in a row into it. That same exercise. Same exercise, I'm gonna repeat it. Make sure you gripping the weight tight. Ready? Go. knees, just add in a curl press. Add in that curl press. It's real easy. Go. Make sure you extend your arms all the way at the top and all the way at the bottom. It ain't got to look perfect. Just work the motion. Alternating rows. So we just going from right here. Remember, keep that back straight. Try not to slump over. Grip the weight tight. Dumbbell this time. I want you to barely squat. You're just gonna rotate. Let's go. Just rotate your shoulders. Keep your, keep your core tight. Make sure you're breathing. Same 
thing, same thing. Next workout, same thing. Hitting them obliques, that waistline. Take them shoulders. All right, next we got dumbbell swings. All we need is one dumbbell for this. Just grip the top of the dumbbell head and you just swinging it up. Yep. Make sure you bring your hips all the way through. Bend them knees at the bottom of the swing. tight try not to think about it just work the motion all right opposite side same thing same motion Dumbbells over your head. Got her knees. Ready? Go. Get the knees up. Try to keep them arms extended. If you can't, just rest it on top of your shoulder, just like this. Slight bend in the knee, bend over at the waist. Bring both to your chest at the same time. Try to squeeze the top of your back every time you bring the rows close to your chest. This is the perfect workout routine. If you're somebody that hate crunches, if you don't know what to do, you're a beginner, you wanna to tone up, you wanna to burn some fat, you wanna sweat, 
look, this is the perfect routine for you to follow. Like I said, try to get at least three, try to hit this workout at least three times a week. Or if you, you know, get used to the workout, start doing this workout two times a day, in the morning and at night. Pair it with a one to three mile walk, Monday through Friday, rest on the weekends, give your body time to recover. But hey, look, I'm dropping content like this every single week. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. And hey, look, just stay consistent. Make sure you pray every day. Make sure you keep God first. Everything that's gonna take care of itself. Until next time, let's get it.